Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode where I've actually um, had to start a brand new save game. Uh, unfortunately, due to the fact that I keep losing crew members. Um, so, what I've done is I've used um, Cheat Engine 7.0 to bring in enough money to where I was um, when I went to start recording our next episode. Um, and picked up the Ocean Runner again and left it at that pretty much so um, one way that I've heard and have been told to stop it from happening is only save the game when you're in port but when you go to port remove your crew members whether you got one two three four or whatever remove your crew members put them in the crew house save your game then remove them from the crew house and continue on don't save your game while you're at sea um, is what I've been what I've been told so if you guys having that issue then um, I would suggest you do that as well I haven't fully tested it yet but um, apparently it does work so I guess we'll just have to wait and, um, and see what happens hopefully it's um, not too loud for you guys but it seems to be a little bit um, jittery on my recording for some reason now let's go options uh, audio I'm gonna drop the volume down to 80 and see if that helps the music is terrible so we'll get rid of the music um, and one other thing I wanted to show you guys is um, I'm going to go over here to a bit of line fishing and try and get some silver silver hake it's not harke apparently it's silver hake um, and I've got 5,000 hook lines on this boat so I'm going to give up on the tuna and sword fish now and try and move on to something else to show you guys but if you go into finance you can actually go to fish prices so say if we've got a ton of, I don't know, pollock on board. Say maybe we've got, you know, 20,000 kilos of pollock and then, you know, 5,000, 3,000, 2,000 or whatever it may be. So you've got more pollock. So then you can go through each individual place we've been to to get the highest price and see if it's worthwhile traveling there or not. So that's one thing I have noticed that someone had asked me if you could check and see what the prices are at each port. I didn't think you could, but um, obviously by looking at that, we can. Alright, so, I want to actually use uh, mackerel, I think I've got mackerel on at the moment. So let's actually, um, fast travel to where we want to go. I don't think I have... Um, Pretty sure I don't have autopilot on this boat yet. Alright, so let's um get the guys out preparing gear. So who's... I don't know if there's anything as far as preparing goes. I'll get, um, get Victor out. So Victor is this guy. You can prepare gear. Okay, let's um turn some lights on so we can actually see what he's doing. I don't want to move just yet. Wait and see. Hopefully he can... Um, I think it's going to make me set that one first, unfortunately. I, I want you to get that one ready, not that one. Right, so now we're setting 5,000 hook lines, so it's going to take forever to actually run this out. Uh, one thing I have actually tested is I went out with a 5,000 hook line and I've got about 13,000 kilos so I'm thinking three lines will be enough to completely fill our boat although I do have um, as you can see like 38 lines or 40 lines or something crazy so all right so we'll sort of have a bit of a look here there's some redfish so obviously this number here is showing us um, how deep it is to the ocean floor. This number here is showing us it's 100 meters, so 50 ahead, 50 behind, and this one 250, so obviously 125 ahead, 125 behind. And that's usually, you know, obviously the front of the boat um, is obviously this side, so the front of the boat's here, and this side is the back of the boat. Um, and it, it, it's either right directly in front or, you know, either side, so it gives you a little bit of width as well, from what I understand. Right, let's actually zoom into a hundred. Let's get this this line run out. 
It's going to take quite a while to get the line run out, unfortunately. So what I might do is I might run this line out. Um, I might throw in a bit of a cut, and I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to, to start hauling, I think. Actually, what I might do is throw out the three lines. Um, God, I hope it's still not, it still looks a little bit jittery, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll throw in the three lines and I'll maybe rest for four hours and throw out another three and then something along those lines. That way we can sort of go in and out, in and out, in and out and um, try and get as much money as we can. So I'll throw in a bit of a cut here and hopefully the recording gets a little bit better because it looks a bit jittery, unfortunately. So I'll be back in a sec, guys. Right out, guys, we're back. Hopefully you have the recordings a bit better now. It's a bit smoother. I did have um, Firefox running in the background. I think that was chewing up a lot of my CPU for some reason. I think I had a video paused on YouTube or something like that, so it's kind of chewing up. Which is really weird, chewing it all up. Alright, so this is our first line. I'll quickly show you guys what I've done as well once we start to reel this line in. So I set three along in here, and then I waited four hours and I've set three along here as well. I don't know if I left enough time, to be honest. Um, Alright, unless it still shows me what it is. I don't know if it's going to let me fast travel, but probably not while I'm obviously reeling in fish and stuff, but... So he's going to... I think you missed that one. Good on you. Jeez, what am I paying you for? Lucky it's only 1%. Oh, you got that one. Oh, where did that go? I've done this before and he actually slams them in there and they flop around like crazy. Oh, there's one. Beautiful. Some redfish. Redfish, some cod. Don't think we've got much, um, silver hake. Oh my god. Look at the way the fish are going. They're so floppy. Developers really need to look at these fish and make them a little bit more realistic. Like, the way that they're flopping around here is just terrible. I mean, the game's pretty good. There's a few little bugs which are annoying. And things that don't look very good, like this, and hauling in the tuna and mackerel, and... Ah... Uh, you likely missed that one. Uh, losing our crew members and all that sort of stuff is really frustrating, but... This is just... Silly. They need to... Do s Oh, Jesus. Do something about that. You'll hit me in the face with that one. I'll throw that one in. Look at him bouncing around. This guy's standing here going, Hurry up, mate. I need to gut some fish. So I did... Purchase a machine gutting table as well. Just going to make it so much easier for us and a lot quicker than doing it by hand, obviously. We're getting so much cod, which I think this was the wrong... I think this was a shrimp line and not a mackerel line. That's probably why we're getting so much cod. It is the 1st of... Actually, the 3rd of September, which is my birthday. Yay! Um, which means today would normally be... Uh, where are we? Cod... Cod season, September to February, so start of cod season. One thing I've noticed though, um, doesn't actually, fishing season with Pollock ends in two days, Pollock has ended, which is weird because Pollock says it's all year round. But it doesn't tell me that cod season has started, which is weird as well. Let me miss that one, come on. Look at me in there with me, me hat on, the captain's hat. Come on, buddy. Need to, to do a better job of this, I think. Oh, he's missed that one too. Unbelievable. Uh, wow, 18,000 kilos. Oh, looks like we're going to um, fill the boat up really quick here, actually. I think you need to jump over and help gut while we travel to the next one. There we go. Right. Um, bring you back over. I think that's the wrong guy, isn't it? No, well, it doesn't matter. To reel in that next line. I'm going to be full off two lines. Maybe I was in the wrong spot when I did a bit of a test. I don't know how big I can make the hole. Looks like the water's coming through the bottom of the boat too, which doesn't look very good. 
I've seen that with numerous boats, unfortunately. Uh, there we go. Right, let's um, jump out of our seat again. We'll go and have a bit of a look. So he's and gutting. I don't know what's going on. Machine gutting, but it's got a weird animation. He's going to start reeling in some more fish. Throw them in there. Put that one. Oop, don't let it fall out. I think that's our silver hake as well. I think they're the better price at the moment, and that's the main reason why I did select to to actually have the silver hake. Let's actually um, get a quick screenshot for our thumbnail. Just throwing it in there, I'm concerned now we're going to have way too much fish. The cod is very, very heavy though, which doesn't help. We've got 2,000 cod. I do think though, once you gut, it does give you more storage space as well. I don't know how much though. Let's turn that engine off, it's really annoying in the background, it's running for no reason. That's what I've been told that, um... Once you actually put the, the fresh fish here and actually start gutting it, the, um, weight reduces. 8,898, so that's not too bad. Alright, let's get this other guy back over here helping. Right, let's run. Let's run to this next line and we'll keep an eye on these guys and see how they're doing. Once they're both in there, it's definitely going quicker. But it doesn't actually tell me how much they're doing. Uh, where's the machine guarding here? So he's, yeah, 900 an hour. And you're doing 818 an hour. Is that kilos or is that fish? It might be fish. So we should get it through it alright, I think. Alright, how far away is this next one? It's quite a hike. Let's get to this last one. And this one's gone green already. That's what I'm sort of concerned about. Um, it doesn't even tell us that I've got silver hake on board. I don't even have any silver hake on board. Which is really weird. It's a bit of a bummer. Alright, we're not far away from this next one now. Let's actually go in here and turn our search light on. Alright, there we go. It's going to help us a little bit. I wonder if I can actually reel it in myself while they continue to hand gut. Oh, machine gut, I should say. I kept saying the wrong thing. So if I can reel it in myself, we should be able to get a better amount, but I mean, we're still going to destroy our, um, our hole. Our hole's going to be full. We're going to end up chucking so much fish back in the water. Just a bit unfortunate, but just see two, two long lines, 5,000 hooks, and we're full. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it'd be better if you we weren't completely full, obviously. So we need to get fuel when we head back into dock as well. Alright, let's jump out of the seat. Run around and pull that line in. Oh, we missed it. Thought I'd get there quick enough. I think I should be able to do it from here anyway. Yep, there we go. We'll see how we go with this. So this should be the same as Barrent C, I think. Oh, we missed that one. Oh, a bit rusty. I need to practice again. Only okay. Come on now. Still pressing it too early. It's the rain. Blame the rain. Wow, you got to wait so long for it to actually go to good or perfect. 
There we go. Man, it's not going to matter anyway because we're going to have too much on board. Wait, how long do you have to wait for it to go perfect? There we go. So it says 8 of 15. Now I've seen other people's videos and they're like, Oh my god, I've only got 15 fish on. Doesn't matter how many hooks I've got, blah blah blah. You might only have 15 fish on by the number. But having more hooks is going to get you more fish and more weight, obviously. So don't be concerned that it's only 11 of 15. You know, 5,000 hooks, you're not going to have to do this 5,000 times. You know, it only sort of gives you the 15 goes at it and then it'll just give you whatever weight should be on the line. God, I'm not doing very well at all. Alright, last one. Um, yep, yeah, 20,000 fish was lost. Wow. Right, I still don't have any silver hake, I don't think. Right, let's, um, let's have a look. What do we have most of, I guess? That's probably the main thing. Uh, cod and haddock we've got the most of. Right, so Yarmouth, cod, haddock is 316. Dollar nine, 354. 384, but then the dollar nine's probably good too. Uh, 235, 127. 483 for Haddock at Dennis Point. I mean, we're going to have to go there, aren't we? Really? I don't know. It says that's going to take us 23 minutes, but I think if we actually fast travel, it takes a lot longer. Boats in the way. I think I'm going to have to just do that. Right, how much? Oh, they're still gutting a little bit. They're not they're just about finished, so we'll let them get that done. These lines might be nearly ruined by the time we get back. Might have to set them and then um, look at railing. Set them, maybe fast forward or sleep 10 hours and then set them again. And then collect. We could probably collect and reset at the same time. But we don't want to overfish the one spot because that will reduce the amount we get each time, I guess. Once these guys are finished. Be good to go. So, we didn't get any silver hake at all. Just the spot we're in. Oh, there's a boat on land again. Oh, God. Alright, thank you, boys. I think they're much of they sneaking through the back there. Right, let's come in here, sell at Dennis Points. Um, so that's down a little bit. That's up. Oh, that's average, and that's average. So that's pretty good. 88,000. Not a huge amount, but... Um, we can add that up to 60,000. There we go. So that'll give us 60,000 capacity. I don't think I've done the engine yet. I think... Yeah, we'll do that as well. Um, autopilot, definitely want to do that when we're actually setting the lines. Alright, so let's go into here. We'll go crew. Up on board. Rest at crew house, rest at crew house. Alright, and I'll come back and I'll go save career. Save like that. Then we'll come back in. Oop, wrong button. Dock again at Dennis Port. We'll go to our crew. Crew house. Return boat to the ocean runner. Look at our fishing gear. We should have some empty long lines. Okay, so unbaited, we've got three. So the purple one should be, or the pinky purpley colour should be. Ah, uh, silver hake. So mackerel. See, mackerel's probably the best thing. Everything is different price too, isn't it? So krill is cheaper. That's redfish. 
Um, I mean, we're getting a decent amount of cod, but... So the pollock should be orange. I think the pollock is orange. Or actually, it could be yellow. Right, we'll set those three with mackerel anyway. Right, let's um, need to fast travel to the closest point, which I think would be here. They're already 19 hours. We'll fast travel to there. I think we're going to have a little bit of trouble by the time we get back to those lines. Bit of a bummer. Right, let's fast travel. So they're going to be close to being 24 hours, which... Actually, that's not too bad. They should still be okay. Depends on how, how long it takes us to actually um, reel them in. So let's set... Um, who have we got? Josh. Then Josh is the better one at hauling. And you go machine gunning. I don't know why the hand gutting is there now. It wasn't there before. Which is a little bit weird. Alright, let's um... I know we're going backwards a little bit, but... Oh shit, this engine is really good. Alright, there we go. We can get these reeled in. Let's have a look and see what we've got. I think it's um... Looks like a lot of cod on this one. Actually, no, that could be Pollock. Don't let it go over. Ooh, lucky. That's some cod. Uh, oh, it looks like a lot of pollock actually, which is good. There's a boat out there as well. Is there anyone else around at the moment? Oh, this guy. This guy's around. Can't see any other boats around at the moment. Right, so let's change this. And this guy can actually go prepare the gear. Because once we've reeled this in, we can actually drop out. Actually, let's not. Because it takes us ages to drop the gear down. So let him just stay there to machine gun. Uh, so that's a Victor. Sometimes it does this too. It's really, really weird. Oh, there we go. Uh, Victor, hand gutting. Machine gunning is better at machine gunning than hand gunning. Uh, where's your hand gunning? Same with him. Hopefully they'll both um, go up a level as well. So that wasn't too bad. Um, 8,353. So not as good as some of the lines, but still pretty good. So we'll dismiss him. We'll dismiss that, I should say. Get these guys machine gunning. Let's um, it's gone dark green now, so it means... Or well not dark green, but a lime green, which means it's gone too far. So I might be able to hand gun... Um, machine gun and set the lines again before we head back in. I don't want to go back in with a little half empty hole unless we try that next time. Oh, that's me. Oh, I forgot again. I was thinking he was going to do it. Damn it. They're actually getting through it really quick. 900, 818. So they're doing alright. Uh, it's got some plenty of redfish around here too. Right, let's go forward. Right, I'll go and reel these ones in and hopefully I can do a better job than last time. I'm happy with goods and perfects, but anything less is probably a bit of a failure, to be honest. I think it's a lot harder to get perfect now than what it was in um, Barren Sea. Right, so once we've reeled in these three lines, we'll have a look and see what the best place is to make sails again. Now we've salted Dennis Point, 
um, and it's been quite a while since we left. The prices may have dropped, the prices may have increased, we don't know, so we're better off looking each time, finding the best, best price and then fast travelling to wherever it may be. I'm pretty sure the fast travel takes a lot less time than actually doing it on the map. And I forgot fuel. I need to stop forgetting fuel because that can cost us a fortune to get it um get it sorted out. Alright, good. Perfect. Hey yeah, uh, there we go, finally. Ooh, at least we didn't have anything lower than good. Twenty one thousand kilos. That's pretty good. These guys are gonna be busy. Got a huge amount of cod again. Um, what's our actual quotas? Ooh, we're gonna be. Oh, close to. We're gonna be very close to our quota on cod. Just gonna be a bit of a bummer. We're gonna have to try and save up for another boat. See, Silver Hake, we haven't got anything of that yet, so I don't know if there's a bit of an issue with um, catching them. Because this is meant to be a Silver Hake spot. Meant to be. Obviously, it's, um... I don't think it is. Alright, let's, um... Get this last line reeled in. Make sure I don't miss it this time. Boom, there we go. So, I think the last one was 1 of 14. This one's got 15 on again. I want to try and avoid the cod as much as possible. So, whatever bait we use next, we're going to have to use the one that's got the least amount of cod on it. Because I think that's going to cost us quite a bit if we overfish the cod. Which is a bit of a shame. Considering it's cod season, the price isn't very good. Um, and cod's just everywhere. So I did actually um, save it the 1st of September. I did actually skip through um, a week at a time until the end of September and I never actually got a notification saying that it is now cod season. So that's one thing that I think they need to change and let us know what season, when the seasons have started and finished. Like they said it was the end of Pollock season. Yet we're still getting a lot of Pollock. So I don't think it's quite the end of Pollock season. Considering it says it's available all year round. I don't think it's quite right. So we're going to have to have a look and see how much it's going to cost us to upgrade our quota. Just to kind of cover ourselves for the cod because... I don't want to have to pay fines each and every time we go out fishing. 13,000 kilos... Um, 14... Why, was, why did we lose fish then? Maybe because we're at... The cod quota maybe? I'm not sure. Alright, let's um look at the... Actually, let's look and see what we've got the most of. I think it's cod, cod and haddock this time. All right, let's have a look. Finance. We'll go prices. Cod. Actually, it's cod and haddock last time too, wasn't it? Um, Three sixteen and a dollar six. Three fifty four dollar nine. Three eighty four ninety four. Yep. So there you go. That price has dropped heaps because we were there before. So two thirty five one twenty seven. Three eighty four ninety. 84 and 94. I wonder if we should go yeah, 30 cents less, but then it's 15 cents more to go to Lun so Lunenburg or Ingalls Head. I think Lunenburg is like is this Lunenburg? Yep. Yeah. Ingalls Head is so that's going to be 1 hour and 8 minutes. One hour, 26 minutes, yep, so we'll go up here. 
Go to Ingle's head. It's closer. Not by much, but it's closer. Alright, uh, no. Let's actually go back out again. They're still gutting a little bit, so let's, um, skip forward an hour. I think they're still... Uh, fresh fish. Yeah, they're still gutting. Let's skip through maybe three hours. Victor's leveled up machine gunning. That's good to see. Alright, put them both into resting. I'll wait for him to disappear before I move too far. Oh, there we go. Let's fish on board. Yes, we're going to sell those. Let it load the price. So Haddock is three eighty four and ninety four cents. One hundred thirty three thousand. Not bad. Right, we'll move our crew back to crew house just because go to the bar swordfish and tuna we don't care about don't really care about the missions either um, let's look at the quick upgrade of our fish quota 300,000 for 30% I don't think that's really worth it is it to be honest I don't think it is um, let's come out of here Look at our quotas. Yep, COD's full. So Haddock, Pollock and Redfish is the only ones we can actually go for now. So fishing gear. Uh, I want to remove all of this because shrimp is for COD, obviously. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. There's just shrimp for days. We've obviously got too many long lines on the boat. We probably only needed like 10. I think I brought 40. So I think I might try and sell sell 30 because we only need like 5 at a time, I think. If we run out 5 and then wait and run out another 5, I think that'll be better. Right, let's go sell long lines. 39, so let's go 29. If I can get there. 28 will do. Sell one. We should have... Uh, no. It's still telling me I've got heaps. 37 unbainted. Okay, sell long lines. 37. Let's go 27. Now, okay, now I've got 10. Maybe it didn't work properly the first time. Well, let's go bait long lines. So we don't want the blue, or the green, I should say. So red fish. Probably should go red fish, I think. So krill or mackerel have got the least amount of cod. So let's go five krill. We'll go five mackerel. And we'll throw in a save here, and then we'll end the episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, and if you're experiencing any bugs and stuff as well, I'll try and forward it on to the developers and see how we go. They are quite busy trying to fix the issues, obviously, and they do know about them, but they're just, they've just spent months and months and months and years, potentially, um, building this game, and they want a bit of a break, so... Don't stress if it's not fixed overnight, but they are working on it from what they've told me. So um, just need to be patient and respectful, and um, it'll all get fixed in the long run. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet as well, please do so. It's been Prudo, thanks for watching. See you again soon.